Okay. Well, today is Palm Sunday. And you know, Palm Sunday, boys and girls, represented a time when Jesus came into Jerusalem. And they made a big to-do over him. They waved palm leaves and laid out garments and for him to walk on and everything. I mean, he... And, and he rode, a, rode in on a donkey, that's right. He didn't have a fancy limo to ride in on. But he came in. And you know, and Jesus went about that whole week. I mean, it was a festive week. And then toward the end of the week, things didn't turn out very good. But basically, they gave Jesus the keys to the city during that time. And you know, Jesus, uh, later on, boys and girls... He had to go to the cross. And uh, earlier, too, he was, he was talking to his disciples. And in Matthew, the 16th chapter and the 19th verse, I want to read you all something about keys that Jesus said we have the keys. He's going to give us the keys. And in the 19th verse, he was telling Peter, he said, and I will give you the keys of the kingdom. Well, you know what? Do y'all have the keys to the kingdom? Any y'all have any keys? You know, some of you have keys, but you got keys to the house and everything. Well, this morning, after the children's sermon, I have a little cross keychain for each one of y'all. And you know what, boys and girls? That doesn't have a key on it, though, does it? So how can you get the keys to the kingdom? You know what? By Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ came and he gave us the keys to the kingdom. And that's what he told Peter. He said, I, and I will give you the keys to the kingdom. When we accept Jesus Christ as our Lord and Savior, that's the key to the kingdom. That empty cross where he gave his life. That symbolizes boys and girls when we accept Jesus, just like those that, that this morning that were baptized, when they, <clears throat> they asked Jesus to come into their heart. When we do that, then we get the keys to the kingdom. Now, we can't put a key on here to the kingdom. That key to the kingdom is right here in our heart when Jesus Christ is our Lord and Savior. But I want to give each one of y'all one of these to help you remember that you can have the keys to the kingdom. Let's pray now. Father in heaven, we thank you for this day. And Father, we thank you for Jesus Christ, who is our key to the kingdom with you. Father, we thank you for Jesus. We thank you for the sacrifice that he made. We thank you for each one of these children in their life. And we pray, Father, that they will come to accept you, that they can have the keys to the kingdom. For it's in your precious son's name I pray. Amen.